Get on your horses. You better get out of here. Why? Right. All the law in six counties are coming here to get you. You better clear out. Hands for the tip piece. Come on, let's beat it. Sheriff, I'm on my way to Deadwood. If you want me, come over and get me. They nearly got away from you, didn't they? Thanks a lot. Lucky for me that you came along. How'd it happen? Well, I don't know. Some horses along the road must have frightened them, I guess. They just got away from me so quickly I didn't see. My little brother's back there. I better go to him. Well, I'll drive for you until they quiet down a bit. Thanks. So you're a sheep herder's kid, huh? Huh. When my father finds out who you fellas are, he'll give you a good licking for scaring the team and making them run away. <laughs> oh! And you tell your father it's going to be plenty hot for him. And if he's a smart man, he'll move on. Now, here's a little present for you. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. You know those men? Why, no, I've never seen them before in my life. Stay here. Is it customary in this country for grown men to go around frightening women, kicking little fellas like him? Oh, I was just playing with him. Yeah? Well, what's the chance for me to get in the game? You'll be sorry for this when you find out who we fellas are. Oh, uh, I was only playing with him. But it might be well for you fellas to keep your game among yourselves. You're liable to play it with the wrong people sometime and get hurt. Come on, son. Is this your pony? Yes. Well, let's get out of here. It was nice of you to help as you did. Oh, that is all right. Say, hey, you folks, uh, cattle or sheep? Sheep? And we're the best ones in Montana. <laughs> Oh, I see. These are cattlemen. That's why they bothered you. You probably understand. Well, we've only been here a short while, and so far I've had very little trouble. I wonder why some people still carry on the old feud between sheep and cattlemen. Oh, they just don't realize things have changed, miss. They'll never get over it. I suppose not. If it isn't too far into the ranch, maybe I better drive for you. There may be a little run left in them. Oh, that'll be nice. All right, get right up. This gentleman's horse is going to stay for lunch. All right, Fari. Well, thanks a lot, but I must be going. Why, I wouldn't hear of it. I want you to meet my father. Why, hello, Fari. I see you got back all right. Uh, this is my father, Mr. Parker. What is your name? Uh, Wallace Gordon. But my friends call me Wally. <laughs> How are you, Gordon? How do you do, Mr. Parker? Well, I'm going to call you Wally. You're sure a friend of mine. Well, that'll be fine. What's your name? Bobby. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Some men frightened my horses into running away. But Mr. Gordon stopped them. Well, thanks, son. Oh, that's all right. Looks like they're trying to run me out of here. Well, Dad, I'm going in and set another place. Come on, Bobby. You do that, Fire. You, right? you bet. We've been here less than a year. And had no troubles with here lately. When I came here, I hoped this cow and sheep feud was a thing of the past. At least this gone from the government. I've written to the authorities telling them how I've been annoyed. But they don't seem to do anything. I don't see how they expect a tenant to meet his obligations unless they give him some support. And see that he gets the use of the land that he leases. Well, I wouldn't worry, Mr. Parker. I'm sure the government will protect your rights. Uh, what's your business, Mr. Gordon? Oh, I'm just plain handyman, I guess. Doing anything now? No, except looking for a job. You found it. I sort of need somebody to kind of tend to my affairs. Getting a little old, you know. Ah. Uh... I forgot to ask you, are you sheep man or cow? I'm running sheep, you know. Well, I try to be just plain human being. Sheep or cows. We have to live and let live, you know. Hey, Wally! There's a swell blackberry pie in there. You better come before I eat it all. That's our dinner bell, Wally. We better go get it or they'll throw it out. You know, we've got a big, big place here. Yes, there's a thousand head in that band. They're all nice ones, too. You 
You know, I've enjoyed working here for your father. He's placed a lot of confidence in me. And you've been pretty nice yourself. Well, we like you, Wally. We feel much safer with you around. Thanks. Cut that out, you little rascal. I'll come up there and get you. <laughs> Bobby's a great kid, Fiery. <laughs> yes, he reminds me of you at times. Uh-oh. You wouldn't kid a fellow, would you? No. Not for the world. No, not much. <laughs> Recognize any faces coming up the street? Not one. Neither did I. Well, this is the place, all right. Let's mosey in and look this fellow Thompson up. for a man named Jeff Thompson. Yeah, well, you're in his place right now. Is he in? Well, it depends on who you are and what you want. Well, he sent for me. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> My name is Cash Horton. Well, uh, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. Set him up before you leave, will you? Oh, help yourself, boys, help yourself. I wonder what they're doing here. Who are they? Cash Horton. Tough hombre. Quickest man on the draw I've ever seen. Seems to shoot from nowhere and always gets his man. Tough character. Mexico, huh? Yeah. Bad hombre. Say, boss. There's a gent downstairs by the name of Cash Horton. Says that you want to see him. Cash Horton? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, bring him right on up here. Up here? Yeah, up here. Well, you know how it is, boss. I've got to take care of you. Ooh. And say, Jim. Yes, boss. You be sure we're not disturbed, will you? Oh, sure. I'll see that you're not disturbed, boss. Yes. Cash Horton. You said you wanted to see me. Oh, yes, I did. But uh, who are these men? They're all right. They came with me. Well, sit down. Thanks. My dear Mr. Horton, I suppose you want to know why I wanted to see him. I have a pretty good idea. Well, you see, you have a wide reputation for doing a job cleanly and thoroughly, without any annoyance afterwards. Cut out the praise and let's get down to business. What's your proposition? Well, I suppose you know that the government controls all of the best grazing land in this country. And when it comes to leasing it out, they don't draw any lines between leasing it to a sheep herder or a cattleman. And it so happens that all of the best grazing land in this part of the country is in the hands of a sheepman, 
by the name of Parker. I see. Now, of course, I'm not interested. But a bunch of the cattlemen that hang out here at the bar kind of thought that I might be able to get somebody to, oh, well, sort of handle the situation a little bit delicately. You understand? Delicately. Delicately. Yes. Uh, or otherwise. Well, how much is in it? Oh, now I see where you get the name Cash Horton. How much? Well, there'll be plenty in it. When these Parkers are run out of here, and I'm not tangled up in it. But don't forget, you've got to handle it carefully. Because the government don't approve of these sheep and cattle feuds. So it's got to be handled carefully. Now, let's see. This Parker outfit you're talking about, where is that land? Well, here's a map of the county. And it's this 300. Pleasant surprise. I didn't know sheep had this head just pretty girls. Did you want to see someone here? I came to see a man, but now that I've seen you, I don't mind spending a little time talking to you. Cash hasn't made a hit with a woman for 20 years that I've known him. Why don't you quit kidding yourself? Shut up, you two. <laughs> Howdy, man. Is there anything I can do for you? We're government men. Come to inspect your stock. Well, I haven't any objections. I'll uh, get my foreman to show you down to the herd. Uh, oh, Wally. What is it, Mr. Parker? Wally, these are government men. Sent here to inspect my stock. Never happened before, but I guess it's all right. Well, I'd like to see your credentials. Who are you? Oh, just the foreman of this ranch. Well, my dealings are with a boss. And I'm not showing anything. Then you're not seeing any sheep. Get your hands up. You put yours up, too. Real government men don't draw their guns when they're asked to prove themselves. Now you take your men and get off of this land. Pretty smart, ain't you? Well, smart fellows die young in this country. Yeah. Well, I've still got time then. Get out. Come on, boys. Wally? You sure were, Bobby. Here, give me that gun. How many times must I tell you not to fool with guns? <laughs> oh, what's a fella gonna do? Well, I don't know, Bobby. Did you ever think of getting a gun not quite as big as yourself? Say, that's not a bad idea. No, it isn't. <laughs> well, I suppose you should get some supplies here. Yes, this is our general store. Oh, well, it isn't bad at that. Barry, you show Wally about town. 
And I got a little business to tend to, and I'll meet you here at the store later. So just have a good time. You bet. Okay, Dad. Oh, what do you say we have some ice cream? That's a great idea. Come on. Bob, how about a nice soda pop? No. Hey, Tiny, will you come down to the gun shop with me? I want to get me a good gun. Land sakes, what do you want with a gun? By golly, it's time I had one. In case any of my friends need any help, I'll be right on the job. Well, come on. You dirty sheep herder. I might be a sheep herder, but I ain't dirty. Oh, get out of here, too. You wait here just a minute. Sheep herder, eh? Yes, sheep herder. You know, I never did like sheep herders. And something seems to tell me I ain't gonna like you. Well, I guess it's going to be mutual. Look here. This town ain't gonna be big enough for me and you. Then if I were you, I'd start moving. Oh. 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 What did you get hurt? What did you get in What did you... Bobby! Go get Wally, quick! Wally! Somebody just shot Dad! Who shot this man? I shot it. Self-defense. He reached for his gun. Look. Sure. It was self-defense. I don't believe it. What's it, boys? Did he reach for his gun first? Didn't he? Sure. That's right, Sheriff. He reached for it first. You bet. All right, boys, take him out of here. You've got a reputation for being awfully fast on the draw. I believe you killed him in cold blood. What? Boys. 
You are pretty fast on the draw. I have to hand it to you. Thanks. I will. Later. You've got ten minutes here. Don't try anything funny. I'll be outside the door. Hello, kid. How are you, Wally? Fine. Don't worry about me. Wally, I'm so worried. How can they accuse you of such a thing? We know that you're innocent. Of course I'm innocent, honey. But don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. Listen, Tiny, you take Fari home as fast as you can, will you? No, go. There must be something we can do. Now, please, do as I ask you. I'm afraid to have you stay around here. This fellow Horton will stop at nothing. And besides, someone has to take care of the ranch. Well, all right, Wally. You know best. We'll go. Well, I won't go. I'm going to stay with my pal. That's an idea, Ted. You may be able to help me, Bobby. How'd you like to do some detective work? Sure, what is it? Well, after Tiny takes Farley back to the ranch, you stick around, go down to the saloon, and overhear everything you can pertaining to this case. You might hear something to clear me. Well, who shall I watch? Why, uh, Cash Horton and all that gang. And if you get a chance, slip back here and let me know what you hear. The sheriff's asleep half the time anyway. You keep your eyes open out there at the ranch. They may start anything. I will. Take care of her, Tiny. Sure, Wally. All right, kid, get going. Be careful. Don't look so worried, honey. I'm gonna get out of this all right. I've got an ace in the hole I haven't told you about yet. Oh, I hope nothing happens. You've been so wonderful to us. And with Dad gone, I need you. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Cheer up. Wally, here comes that sleepy sheriff. Time's up, Gordon. That fresh guy's been in jail a week. And the Parker kids ought to be ready to pull up stakes and leave the country. So our job is done. Let's collect our dough and leave this town. What do you say? Right, Cash. Why didn't you tell me who you are? Why, that might have spoiled everything. Now, if you'll just leave the keys to the cell handy in case Bobby gets some information, I can leave, you see? Sure, Gordon. Anything you say. That's fine. Well, that's handled it pretty neat. Hey, boys. I'll say, Chief. You're right, boss. I think it's time we blew this town. Let's get going. I guess the cattlemen are pretty well satisfied now, Jim. Yeah. You know that young fella? He never stabbed Lucas. No. No. Horton done it. Oh. Then he planted the evidence on him. Pretty slick, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Cash is on his way to Parker's ranch, you know, just to pull another one of his little raids.
Wally, I just heard Thompson say that Cash Horton stabbed Lucas. You sure, Bobby? Yeah. And another thing, I got a horse planted out here for you. And I'll go get the keys and let you out. And you better hurry, because Cash Horton is on his way out to our ranch. Uh, be careful, Bobby. Hello, Fiery. With Dad gone and Wally in jail, I don't know what we're gonna do. Don't worry. Ain't I here to look out after everything? Besides, Wally will get acquitted at his trial. Everybody knows there was something dirty in that. Yes, but didn't they kill Dad without a chance? And we know he was innocent. He never harmed anyone in his life. Well, cheer up. about fulfilled our job with Thompson. But there's a fortune in sheep there. Why not steal them and run them across the border? It's a great idea, Cash. It'll take us about four days. And I know every water hole between here and the border. Let's go. Wait a minute. Look. Tiny, look. Those fellows are up to no good here. I'm going to run them off. Tiny! Let me handle this. Stay off this ranch. Now get off. Let's get those sheep away. Come on, hurry. Never mind me. What's the matter with Tiny? Cash and his men were here. They shot him. Bobby, go to town and get the sheriff. The sheriff? 
Sheriff. Yes, and get back as soon as you can. Okay, Wally. Which way'd they go? Out there. You take care of Tiny. Moving, boys. Ah.
And Sheriff, he stabbed Lucas and put the blame on Gordon. Well, that's enough evidence for you, isn't it, Charlie? Yes, it is. Put him in, boys, until the next train leaves. You win. Thanks. I catch on. Oh, Inspector, some friends want to see you in my living room. Me? Sure. I'll to come on. We'll take a tour. Gee, it's great to see Hello, you, Bobby. Hello, Wally. How are you, Tiny? It's fine. Hello, Wally. It's great to see you, Bobby. Excuse me, Inspector. Got a little business back there, so make yourself at home. Thanks. Uh, Tiny, you didn't get shot in the leg, did you? Why, no. Why? <laughs> well, I still claim your little brother's a great boy. Well, you should. <laughs> so you're an inspector? Yes, I work for the government. Doing what? Oh, seeing that the leases are protected and the people get the proper use of the land. Well, in that case, I suppose you'd be leaving your job at our ranch. Well, uh, you want me to? Well, the government will have to be looking for a new boy then. <laughs>